Hi there, Vegas Fruity Cat here, and earlier this evening, sorry I just got done working out, I'm a little sweaty, uh, but earlier I made some um, spring rolls, and I wanted to show you the dipping sauce that I made because it was really good, and um, I found that you could probably also use it like as a dressing, or um, just as a dressing for so many other different things because it's really good. All right, so I've got my matchstick veggies cut up. I've got cucumbers, zucchini, carrots, and some chives here. And it was really easy to get these matchstick pieces because my son Calvin, um, our son gave us this uh, really great mandolin. I have another one that doesn't have this option, but basically what you could do is uh, basically turn it, see the little blades that pop up, um, and then basically you turn it to that option and then this has kind of like um it's got like uh, these prongs that come out and go right into the veggie and so you put it right on here and make those matchsticks and it's very easy so um, if you don't have one of these i'd uh, be on the lookout for it it's really really helpful and um, also i'm going to put some avocado in my spring rolls but as you can see, this tossed avocado here, it's kind of a bummer. I had to cut a lot of it away because it had a lot of brown spots. And I talked about a week ago, I talked about some avocados that we bought on our trip. And it's still good. I bought these, I believe they're organic, but they are uh, really thin-skinned. Uh, dark. They look like haws, but they were smooth. This one's a little bumpier than the other ones. But they were pretty smooth. And um, as you can see, it's still really clean. There's no brown spots and I think this is going on two weeks already that these Mexic this is actually a Mexicola avocado and the um, the skin is so thin that you could actually you can actually eat the skin and it actually has a, an anise flavor to it uh, they don't ship well um, so you may or may or may not find them in your area but if you do I would definitely look for them they're very flavorful really buttery and nice and I think they're gonna go well in the spring rolls Hi, right, and I'm going to use these spring roll skins. Um, I've got these wrappers. Uh, they're rice, and I've got big ones, and I've got small ones. And I think what I'm going to do is use the big ones because they're easier to wrap. I'm also cooking up some of that wonderful chard with some onion, and I'm going to add some rice to that. Maybe a little liquid aminos as a side dish. All right, I'm adding a little of the Tra Trader Joe's seasoning salute, and then some garlic powder. Alright, so I'm just going to basically put this in some warm water for just maybe, I don't know, maybe six or seven seconds, and then I'll bring it out, fill it up, and roll it like a burrito. Alright, here's what I really wanted to show you, and that's the dipping sauce for the spring rolls. I'm going to use a half a cup of um, almond butter in here, preferably raw almond butter. Um, that would really make a difference. I've got a quarter cup of um, water here. I've got, let's see, one clove of garlic and about a teaspoon of minced ginger. I'm going to mince both of these. And then um, I've got two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of lime juice, freshly squeezed, and the same for orange juice. Two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of fresh orange juice, a pinch of uh, fresh lime zest, an eighth of a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, and I've got a half teaspoon of tamari sauce, or um, you could use liquid aminos. And I'm just gonna basically whirl them all in a little blender or a bullet. I almost forgot, you're gonna need a teaspoon of this raw um, or just regular agave sweetener. All right, and there's our spring rolls, and here we go. The sauce is just amazing, this dipping sauce. And you're only going to use a little bit, so you can actually just, it stores really well in the fridge, and you could um, use it throughout the week for more spring rolls. There you go. Okay, and that sauce was inspired by um, a dipping sauce uh, that was in the book The Blender Girl. And I think her name is Tess Masters, uh, but the book, The Blender Girl, if you don't have it, I would definitely uh, look for it and pick it up because it's um, really helpful. All right. Thanks so much and have a great day.